Super Bowl 57 was an American football game played to determine the champion of the National Football League NFL, for the 2022 season. The American Football Conference AFC, champion Kansas City Chiefs defeated the National Football Conference NFC, champion Philadelphia Eagles, 38-35. The game was played on February 12, 2023, at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It was the fourth Super Bowl hosted by the Phoenix metropolitan area, and the third at this venue. With the most recent previously being Super Bowl 49 in 2015, then known as University of Phoenix Stadium. Both teams finished the regular season with a league-best 14-3 record, this was the Chiefs' fifth Super Bowl appearance overall and third in the last four seasons. This marked the Chiefs' third Super Bowl win, having previously won Super Bowls 4 and 54. The Chiefs previously lost Super Bowls 1 and 55. This was the Eagles' fourth Super Bowl appearance after a win in Super Bowl 52 and losses in Super Bowls 15 and 39. After the Eagles went into halftime up 24-14, the Chiefs mounted a comeback to win the game 38-35. With a game-winning field goal kicked by Harrison Bucker. The 73 combined points was the third-highest scoring Super Bowl game. And the 35 scored by the Eagles were the most by the losing team in the Super Bowl. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes was named Super Bowl Most Valuable Player MVP, completing 21 of 27 passes for 182 yards and three touchdowns, while also rushing six times for 44 yards. Mahomes became the first player since Kurt Warner in 1999 to win an NFL MVP and a Super Bowl MVP, let alone a Super Bowl, in the same season. Fox's broadcast of the game became the second most watched program in American television history and the third most watched American television broadcast with an average of 113 million viewers. The halftime show, headlined by Rihanna, peaked at 118.7 million viewers. Host selection. Beginning with Super Bowl 56, a new system was introduced to select Super Bowl hosting sites. Discarding the previous process that allowed cities to submit bids for the hosting rights. The league unilaterally chooses a single hosting site for each game. The chosen city then creates a proposal that is voted upon at the league's owners' meetings. Arizona was the first location chosen under this process, its proposal was accepted unanimously on May 23, 2018. State Farm Stadium in February 2023, shortly before Super Bowl 57. The official logo was unveiled on February 14, 2022. It follows the updated logo template introduced by Super Bowl 56. With imagery of a sunset resembling Arizona's state flag behind a desert canyon to reflect the landscapes of the host region. Calls for location change. In February 2022, over 200 liberal religious leaders, including Rev. Jesse Jackson and Rev. Dr. William Barber II, petitioned NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to move Super Bowl 57 out of Arizona. After they accused the Arizona legislature of enacting unnecessary voting restrictions with HB 1003, SB 1485, and SB 1819 Arizona Democratic Party Vice Chair Brianna Westbrook also voiced her support to move the Super Bowl after the Arizona legislature passed SB 1138 and SB 1165, which restricts access to gender-affirming care for minors, and bans transgender girls from playing on girls' sports teams. Indigenous Representation Main Articles Native American Mascot Controversy and Kansas City Chiefs Name Controversy the game and surrounding festivities included acknowledgments of the indigenous peoples of Arizona, the Ak-Chin Indian community, 
Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation, Gila River Indian Community, and Tohono O'odham Nation were named as host committee partners. And the official branding for the game features artwork by Lucinda, La Morena, Hinoyos. Featuring the white tank mountains adorned with 22 diamonds representing the Native American tribes that have a presence in Arizona. This marked the first time an indigenous artist was commissioned to create the official artwork for the Super Bowl. An 8,500 square feet, 790 square meters, mural in downtown Phoenix was also commissioned in collaboration between Hinoyos and other indigenous artists. For the first time, a land acknowledgement was read during a ceremony on February 6 attended by representatives of the host committee partner tribes. While dance troupe Indigenous Enterprise performed during Super Bowl opening night. And as part of entertainment outside State Farm Stadium on the day of the game. The presence of the Kansas City Chiefs led to continued calls against the use of Native American imagery by the team and its fans, including the Tomahawk Chop, including by the Kansas City Indian Center, the National Congress of American Indians, and the first Indigenous Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland. Groups of Indigenous activists organized a protest rally outside State Farm Stadium. Stadium playing surface the NFL spent two years preparing the grass used in Super Bowl 57. The field, made of Tahoma 31 grass, was grown at a local sod farm in Phoenix. Despite the field prep, multiple players could be seen slipping and falling on the surface. Players from both teams criticized the playing surface, and several players changed cleats during the game to get better traction. During their Week 1 matchup against the Arizona Cardinals, Chiefs players had complained of the playing surface at the time. It was replaced by February, which potentially led to injuries to Harrison Bucker and Trent McDuffie. AI explained, 